In our previous video, we learned about text areas and how you can display them on the front end and maintain the spacing between them. But you would have noticed that it doesn't do a proper paragraph tag, it just creates breaks between the paragraphs. So in order to make WordPress spit out proper HTML, you can use a field called the what you see is what you get editor. And that is just located here. Okay, so create we can create another label. I'll just call it other description. And I've already chosen what you see is what you get editor. There's a couple of options with this. You can remove types of the types of toolbars that are on that particular thing, but I'll show you firstly what it looks like. So let's go in and hit refresh. And you should see now it kind of look well, it looks exactly like the content editor in WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this from, from the, the description and the title so they don't come up. And I'm just going to paste it into here. And then I'll click on update. And it's obviously not in our template yet. So I need to go into our theme, create another variable. I'll just call it other description equals get field. And then put the ID of that particular field in there, which is the same thing. And then just go here and do PHP if other description PHP echo other description. Cool. So let's go and refresh it on our screen. And you should see now that it comes up in a proper paragraph format. Now, what are the downsides of using a what you see is what you get editor? Well, if you're creating this website for a customer to edit themselves, they could potentially copy and paste content from another website and it will actually copy in the styles and the classes from that specific website. So when they do it, when you use this field, the standard text area field, it doesn't copy in any HTML, but with this it does. So you've got to be careful with, with this one. If you go into the field group, you can actually edit it and, and change things. So you could make it that they can't upload an image because as you can see, they can add media and you could make it so it's only, only visual and no text. So they can't go and add raw HTML into there. So if we hit refresh now, you should see now it kind of looks like the text area, but with a bit more options and it allows you to do say, you know, bold and list items and all that sort of stuff. So that might be more convenient for you when you are creating something for your customer to, to actually edit. So as you can see, it does come in HTML format and that's it. That's the what you see is what you get editor.